Welcome to Kitty Cars 64! Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Kitty Kart 64, which is a retro Mario Kart 64 style horror game where you play a kitty that must win a series of races and nothing goes wrong. Hmm, no for players. I really don't actually know the controls. I'm gonna go off the path. We're gonna cheat this. I'm winning. I think. I'm not really quite sure. Am I going reverse? Theoretically, couldn't I just, like, keep going back and forth over the finish line? I mean, you know, like, just forget the rules. Race. This is actually a, kind of a very pretty game. Huh. No, I think I have to complete the race. I, I really don't know. Why give me all these, like, options of, like, going off-road? Where are they even the other racers? Cause it says I'm still in like first place. And I'm just forever racing. Maybe the point is to go off road and then find something. Cause I mean this this looks pretty broken. Let's try going around. So editing wise, sometimes you're gonna see the time in the top right be a little different. It's because I'm gonna be mixing some later footage with earlier footage, just as long as it lines up the stage, just for like secret hunting. It's over here. Someone went down into a well. Someone, they look, I'm not sure, like, like a flower person? Maybe some kind of specific animal. They have a cart on the edge of oblivion. Let's say that. It's over here. ER? I mean, that might not even mean anything. Check this place out. Turn back, you turn. I have just gone off the map. Oh, we won. I think. No, I can't move. I don't want to know what this stuff is. I'm sinking, stuck. Help! I am literally stuck in unspeakable things. Oops. Oh boy! Desert world. Okay, we need to try and get 
we need to kind of stay above things. You cart, I need to ride on you. So if we linger too long, we're gonna sink. So we need to like navigate between these. There are evil smiley faces over there. It's a cart that's sunk. Which I don't wanna be. I think I see a note over there. You, why are you still down there? I hate getting mud on my shoes, this bud. There's no way I'm letting you up here. Go away. You'll get mud on me, too. Let's see if we can try to tag this note over here. That's her, right? Yeah, watch it be drowned in mud. That's not nice. There's a bunny out here in the water. I can drive on the water. Are desserts supposed to be hot? I can't feel anything at all. Not even the wind. Not even the wind. Check out... I mean, there's a pyramid right there. Can we go up it? What does that mean? The world is, uh... You okay? I think it's alright. Let's go for this pyramid and we'll win. That life. Yep. I think you need the expansion pack, my friend. We're now some RAM. Can't pull the textures out from the, uh, the thing. Bunny friend is doing. You okay? I can feel something now. Don't we all? This was actually part of a game jam for uh have kind of like exploration y like lovely sweet dream emulator simulator or whatever. I don't want to say like the abbreviation of that name. So I can kind of see why you have to go off the beginning trail a bit. I mean, I can like get off the map by going up here. Seems kind of like I might be able to wrap them up. 
Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want me in this level. You okay? Got my ears. It's fine, we're winning. Leave the corpses behind. Look at Hernandez as the race. We're free, we're free, we're free. Congratulations. Map six not found. Hey, there's a person here. Hi. Who are you? Please help me. I'm not supposed to be here. I mean, I'm not ready to wake up. She doesn't want to talk anymore. Pop. Oh. Something over here. Friend. Like, that's not the... I mean, it could be the cat. I guess in a very vague way, but... Because of the little, like, you know, prongs on the side of the head. The fur. It looks almost like a different character. No, oh, this is... What's this? Don't want to make break too many balloons. Okay, I reloaded. So that way I have more balloons to spare. Because you're kind of fighting against not popping too many of these. Where was... There was an item in here that was unique. There. I win? I guess. Pop the balloon. We're all having a good time. Good job. You are now awake. Wait, what was behind me? Oh, it's just concrete barriers. The lighthouse. No, it's just street lights. I would say this is really well done. Like, yeah, that the the genre is nothing new, but like, very, very good presentation. And you have a dedicated honk button. It's very important. Hey, wait. 
A cat. Go left this time. I completely understand what you're saying. Well, we've kind of done a full loop, I think. Let's go in reverse. Let's go up. Take the high road. Wait, something might be on the right. No, it's just a fish. A fish. Oh, you're fishing. Good for you. I'll keep staying up high for now. I think it's gonna loop and we're gonna see the fishing cat again. Yeah. So we have to either jump off the map or find something very specific. But so far I've not found a way to progress that doesn't involve jumping off the map at some point or falling through it. God, I really like how those like bounce around. I can hop, but I don't think I can hop over these uh, sides. Maybe keep going down low. We went to that fork before, and there's the other cat. That's just me polluting. <laughs> There is a left fork. We can try this one. Let's make a left here. Make a little U. We'll keep going progressively lower. Into the ocean. There's the cat again. Hey. Are you me? I wonder if that could be translated somehow. Okay, so don't go... Wait, here we go. Weird. So this is our way out. Uh, there could be very well, like, quite a few kind of hidden things in these maps. It's hard to tell. Welcome to Light World? The world's biggest parking lot. What's this? Weird. What's going on?
I ain't seen nothing yet. Maybe cut this way a little. The way you kind of have to go off the map and like bumping and stuff or do things like that, that is very, uh, Yumi Nikki, uh, lovely sweet dream simulator. So I can see kind of like, I, I can see the vibe of how it's aligning with the theme. I'm seeing some red over here that could be nothing. Or give me a blood stain. An arrow blood stain. Subway tunnel? You want me to go that way. This one also wants me to go this way. I mean, they might both lead to the same way. It just, you know, it's, uh... Two paths, one... Fork. So that one has no arrow whatsoever. Doesn't matter. The arrow was just sort of say like, yeah, just just follow the pattern. Hey, I win. What? My tires. Hey. Hey. My tires. Hey. Hey. No. No. We win. I'll take it. So, that's it for Kitty Card 64. Now, I think we've found the majority, if not all, like the notes and secrets kind of thing. There might be something in the one world where the people are like laying on the ground. Because that area is kind of confusing. And I don't think these things seem to do anything in particular. It seemed to be more of lore stuff. But I couldn't figure out if the character that's with the... I'll call him the Shadow Man. If that's our cat, and that's just how they're kind of drawn in that style, like that, you know, the little tufts of hair and stuff. Or if that's a completely separate entity and character that's maybe vaguely related to our cat. I don't know. It, it seemed like there was kind of a story being told there. Or at least a skeleton of, like, a story. But the big thing is, I think this game is very stylish. Like, obviously, there's there's plenty of, like, tribute horror, retro-style horror games. A lot of them are... Some of them are really done well, and some of them are obviously done a little more cheaper. This is in the done well range. Because stylistically, it's beautiful. Um, it's fairly accurate to, like, some of the little quirks graphic-wise to the Mario Kart 64. Like, sound design's good. Like, everything's good. And I actually think the, um... The scare and entity at the end, and just like some of the build up to it, actually was performed well enough. Like, it was kind of a very creepy ending. And we're left off a little bit of a vague thing in the end. So, I think it's a very proper creepypasta haunted style video game. And it kind of shows like you can go over previously gone over ground, but like if your presentation and the way you kind of go about it is like well done, like it doesn't really matter. You can still make a very cool kind of like experience. But yeah, anyway. So, thank you all for watching Play Kitty Kart 64. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.